hello there. Yes, I'm in a nightgown. I hope it's not too sensual for you. The reason why is because I'm fake tanning. I go a wedding tomorrow, so I'm testing the makeup. And let me tell you, makeup looks a thousand times better on camera under lighting than it does in real life. That's how the beauty YouTubers are doing it. Because it does not look this good in real life, I can tell you that. Recently, I did a furnishing the biggest apartment in The Sims 4. Now, I had a few comments saying, well, Deli, that's not the biggest apartment. So I was like, well, hold on. I'm gonna have to count all the tiles and see which one is in fact the biggest. So in San Maishino, the last one that I finished was this three-story apartment. The apartment that people were saying is bigger is this one, 1010 Alto Apartments. It is more expensive, but it is definitely smaller. So I did correctly say that I renovated the biggest one. But this is still pretty big. And as I was looking at it, I was like, now I wanna furnish this one. So let's have a look at it before we renovate it, what it looks like. What are the good parts about it? What are the not so good parts about it? All right, so here it is. And it's actually really cool. What I love about this apartment is there are so many windows and they're big, modern windows. Can you imagine living here? It would be absolutely insane. The first thing I dislike about it is despite how many windows there are, it's very, very dark. And I don't understand why in these brand new modern apartments, they have such old fashioned doors. Like, what are these doors? What are these colors? This place is meant to be modern. <laughs> so unfortunately we can't change that door, but we will be a little bit inspired by it. But I do like the floor plan, you know? I like how there's a lounge room here. I don't mind the half walls. I like the, the big kitchen here. Currently it's four bedrooms, but the bedrooms share bathrooms. I feel like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because the bathrooms are absolutely massive. I mean, look how big this bathroom is. So we are going to be making some changes. We're gonna make these bathrooms two bathrooms. We'll keep this big walk-in wardrobe. This floor plan is going to be more or less the same. It's going to be very similar. And then I'm splitting this bathroom into two bathrooms as well. And we're going to be adding a little laundry too. So let's jump into it. So what I first did was just deleted a few things and rearranged it a little bit because I felt like the floor plan was a little bit odd in scale of the rooms, particularly this big bathroom is very long and yeah, just wasn't quite right. So I felt like it would make more sense to turn these bathrooms into separate bathrooms. It's a very luxurious apartment. So I feel like anyone living here would probably expect to have their own bathroom, especially the main bedroom. So that's what I'm doing right now. The main bedroom is going to be uh, the purple bedroom. We will change the color of it to be a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more high end. And the other bedrooms are still gonna be big and very nice. I didn't make them into kids bedrooms. I kind of kept them as maybe more teen, adult, elder. But of course, if you guys wanna download it, I'll upload it to my gallery deligracy so you guys can. And today I'm also going to be using several custom content packs because I was in the mood for some custom content today. Uh, so we are going to be using uh, a couple of packs that Little Dicker and myself worked together on, the Delicato pack and also the Delicious Kitchen pack. The kitchen's gonna be using lots of items from that, which looks really good, I think. And then we're also going to be using the Hey Harry Octave collection and brutalist bathroom. So we've got a couple there and yeah, it's always good to have a little bit of a play with custom content now and then. And I have to say, I'm so sorry if you guys watch my videos very regularly, like as soon as they come out, I'm so sorry. I haven't had many uploads this week. Usually I have at least three, but um, it's been a wild time. It's, um, I know a lot of you guys already know my grandmother passed away. I feel like a broken record saying it again, <laughs> but uh, I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that um, we had a memorial. It went really well, at, well as well as it could. And um, I've just needed a, a bit of extra time to reflect and get things done and help with all of the organizing of that. And these things can take a lot of time. So I'm sorry there haven't been many uploads, but hopefully this one you guys will like. And yeah, then we're off to Sydney. So I'm gonna be in a different office soon. Um, the good old office Bowser is sometimes in and snoring in the background. I think I might have to be a little bit more strict with him not coming in while I'm filming. It's always like, 50-50, people either love it or they dislike it and find it distracting. Um, but yeah, we'll be in Sydney again soon. So don't worry, the content will be back in a routine and also all the members who I've been making some behind the scenes videos for, some extra videos for. 
uh, you guys will be getting a video very soon. So thanks for being so much. Uh, thanks for being so much. Thanks for being so patient with that as well. Also, we had a really good video recently. I built the Trixie Motel, uh, Trixie Mattel's TV show, Trixie Motel. I built it in The Sims and, or at least to build inspired by it. And I was thrilled with the comments. You guys were so nice because I, haven't been able to actually watch the TV show. It was so nice to see you guys who have seen the show saying, you know what? It actually does like follow the show. It does look a lot like it. So thanks guys so much. And Trixie even saw it. Uh, she tweeted it out. So I was really, really thrilled that she got to see it as well as a fellow um, Sims lover. So that was really cool. So thanks guys for that. Uh, you can see here, I felt like I felt like this area was a little bit awkward. The thing is with this apartment is because there's so many great windows, it does restrict you with where you can put the walls because you, whoops, that's my lipstick. You can't have a wall um, intersecting a window. That will just look really bad. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of had to follow where there is room to put a wall and a lot of the windows aren't really placed in a symmetrical way. So it was a little bit tricky in that sense. And I also wanted to, instead of just taking out all the walls, work a little bit more with what was already there. Cause a few people are saying in the last renovation we did that you would have preferred to see me utilizing the existing floor plan a little bit more, uh, which I thought was really interesting. Cause I'm like renovation, let's gut the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, we're using a little bit more of the existing floor plan and the existing floor plan was pretty good. So happy about that. We're also being inspired by a little bit of a mid century modern look and that's back to back fireplaces on one wall. Originally I was going to just have a short wall dividing the room so it could kind of walk around on either side. But in the end, I decided to do a full wall and a door just because the place is so big. You would definitely want to be able to shut off rooms. Realistically speaking, you would want to be able to shut rooms in order to keep uh, coolness and heat in the room. So you wouldn't have to use up so much energy heating and cooling the whole place. Um, so that's why we've done that more realistically thinking, but also like sound echoing through the whole apartment, like not being able to shut off the door from the kitchen to the TV room would be an absolute nightmare. So we just, we definitely had to take care of that. Even though it doesn't matter in The Sims, I just felt like I needed to in my heart. <laughs> I couldn't deal with it being that open. So we have done that. And I absolutely love these couches from the Octave pack. I love the Delicato couch as well, but I felt like this felt more like high-end apartment, you know? So we're using this with the wood details on the side, but I will be using my favorite rug of all time. And that is the Delicato rug. I loved this rug that little Dicker made and I helped give, I guess my feedback for it. And I was so thrilled with it because it has the most beautiful velvety texture and some really nice colors. So we're going to be using that rug over and over again throughout the whole apartment. I think it looks so good. The wallpaper and fireplace, they are also Hey Harry Octave collection. And I think they look really nice. And in the bathrooms, we'll be using the Brutalist bathroom pack, uh, which is a bit of a classic at this point for CC bathrooms. So that's really good. And the doors are also Octave. I really wish that we would be able to change the front door. The front doors are just, like I mentioned before, really frustrating because I don't believe that door matches the exterior of the building. I just don't think they make sense at all. So I so badly wish I could change it, but I will say I did use that door as inspiration to choose dark floorboards to go with the dark front door. And I also decided to use a dark wooden wallpaper. I think we use the herringbone wooden pattern from the bowling pack. So we will see that very soon. And I think that comes together really nicely. I've also slowed down this footage to about, well, it's still sped up obviously, but I've actually slowed down to 200%. So it's only double the speed of when I do it. Just because I found as I've gotten older, I sound like a grandma as I've gotten older in my time, but like, oh, and, and I'm in a nightgown. Oh my goodness. I really am turning into a Sims grandma. Love an elder though. 
I, as I'm getting a bit older, I'm getting more motion sickness with games. And for that reason, I'm a little bit more aware of how it might feel to be watching a speed build on like 500 speed or 600 speed, which is what I used to do. So now we've slowed it right down to 200% because I feel like you can actually see it a bit easier. It does mean I cut out some of the other footage, but personally, I rather quality over quantity with everything. So I rather have slower footage that I can understand and not feel sick from than kind of trying to put it all in on like super speed where the camera is zooming around and you can't really follow anything. So hopefully you guys like that. But as always, I'm open to feedback in the comments if you guys prefer it the other way. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love how this is turning out. It just looks so classy. And we are going to be using the curtains from the desert pack. I used to always use uh, custom content curtains from the bathroom pack. That was before The Sims gave us sheer curtains. So now I do use The Sims ones, but they're also a really good CC option if you don't have the Desert Lux pack. And right now I'm actually deciding what kind of CC packs I want to use. I have so many in there, there's so many great ones. And I knew I didn't want to use heaps of them because it's a bit of a nightmare to download like 20 different CC packs. So I thought if we just keep it to two creators, Little Dicker, Hey Harry, couple of their packs and that's pretty good. The fireplace is also really pretty as well. And the classic big TV, you gotta love it. So yeah, it's all coming together. I feel like if I lived in this apartment, those couches, those white couches would be absolutely destroyed. I don't wear the color white very often, if ever just because I, there is no way that that white is going to stay white for more than one wear. Like I, I, I'm a very messy eater. I, I'm an impatient Aries. I say this all the time. Everything's like bang, smash, quickly done, impatient, things flying everywhere. No kidding. I have coffee stains on my wall next to the coffee machine from banging the coffee grinder when I'm emptying it. And James was like, okay, Maddie, because he calls me Maddie in real life. I know that's probably weird to hear. Um, but he was like, Maddie, when you smash down the coffee grinder, can you please just hold a cloth over it? Because it's actually going all over the walls. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. I did not even realize. So it's the same thing with wearing white. It's never going to stay that way. I can't do it. Goodness, no way could I ever wear white pants. That would be absolute tragedy. So yeah, white couches couldn't do either. As much as I adore them, I don't know how people keep them clean. So we will be making a couch color change soon. Enjoy the white couches while we have it. Everything is very white at the moment and we do actually make it look a lot more colorful in a little while, which I really like. Loving those paintings. Those paintings are from Octave Collection as well. Oh, unless they're from Brutalist. No, that wouldn't make sense. They wouldn't be from the Brutalist bathroom because they're a bit big for a bathroom. Uh, yeah, and the rugs under the table, just those cream rugs are from the Delicato pack. These curtains absolutely saved my life. I feel like these curtains are probably one of the items I use the most from kits. Probably my most used items. I wish we had statistics. You know how Spotify at the end of the year, they give you like a rundown, I forget what they call it, or a reflection of your most played songs and albums and how long you listened to it in the previous year that's just gone by. I wish The Sims would do that, but a rundown of your gameplay. So it's like, this is the item you use the most. This is uh, the pack you use the most items from. And like, this is how many hours you played The Sims for. That'd be really cool. We are not keeping with these uh, brown couches, I don't think. I think we go with olive green. I'm just, I'm just trying something new. <laughs> I'm just trying something. Olive green is just, oh, I love olive green. You can probably tell. I think I'm often drawn to colors in, in my own home. I'm very drawn to colors that I could wear because some colors do not suit me. And some people wear colors that by the book wouldn't suit them. And you know what? They work it, you know, whatever. For me, I do like to kind of keep within the colors I feel like harmonize with my natural complexion and hair and eye color and all of that. 
Olive green is one of them, and I do find myself using olive green a lot in real life around the house, earthy colors that I feel like I can wear, and things like pastels, which I'll wear a little bit of pastels, but not very often. I rarely use, I have like nothing pastel in my house other than like maybe my headset. Um, oh my God, I just saw all the makeup over those. I'm glad my camera is little. Don't zoom up on that. Do not zoom up on that. I feel like you guys are gonna go back and take a screenshot and tweet it and I'll be devastated. Please don't. <laughs> I don't even know how you get the makeup stains off. I have actually cleaned my headphones before and it's stained. It's stained from all the makeup on the ears. <sighs> but you can smell your headphones if you wear headphones a lot. And they do get smelly if you don't wipe them down or, or if you don't wash them. So I definitely recommend you do that now and then. If you haven't ever done it before, give it a go because it, it is a little alarming if you suddenly give them a smell. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're eating right now, but you know, it's just, it's just the way life goes. <laughs> I also end up sizing down the ottoman just so it can tuck under the coffee tables. I love doing that. And those coffee tables are actually two separate coffee tables joined together to create a square one. So I always use the move objects on cheat. That's a classic for me. And I'm actually playing around with a light from the Delicato pack. So that's not from the Octave collection. That's from the Delicato pack. The plant is from Brutalist Bathroom and the TV is just Sims, and those golden lights that are on the walls, those are from the recent bathroom clutter kit from The Sims 4, which is quite exciting because I did not expect to get little gold lights like that, and it's really what I was hoping for. I think we need to get more of these sconce lights. I would love to see like mid-century, modern, newer ones. Ah, that would be so great. Now we're working with a little bit of a cheeky Brutalist bathroom, a little bit of a cheeky CC moment yet again and loving it. I love this bone creamy off white color. It is so pretty, so natural, but I am going to absolutely change the color of this bathroom by the end of it. I think I do end up going with black in the bathroom for this one. This is like the main bathroom or it's not really a full bathroom. It's a half bathroom or a powder room. In Australia, when you have bathrooms with a shower or bathtub, it's called a bathroom. However, if you have a bathroom without a shower or a bathtub, it's called a half bathroom. So that way, if you're buying a house, you know two and a half bathrooms means there's gonna be at least two showers or a shower and a bathtub. I don't know if it's like that in all countries, but I feel like it's, it's quite helpful. Again, sizing down a couple of items. It's really great to scrap to scale items up and down where you can. I feel like it makes a really big difference to be able to use that little cheat. I use the bracket keys to do that on my keyboard and oh, the little toothbrush holder. I do find myself using a lot of these new like clutter kits. They're really handy. I love the toilet rolls, love the little bits and bobs. Still annoyed by that. I was about to call it hair vacuum, <laughs> hair vacuum, no hair dryer. Um, the fact that it has that 2D cord. I almost thought they could have made it wireless, but I actually don't know if it's possible to get a wireless hairdryer because I feel like it uses so much power. Could it even be battery operated without having like an insanely expensive battery in it? Let's see. Uh, cordless hairdryer. Or I wonder how long it would last for. Uh, I don't think it exists because the Dysons definitely have a cord and that's, oh, okay, there is a cordless hairdryer, interesting. Interesting. Wait, that's not a cordless hairdryer. Why does it lie? Why does it lie? I don't know if it exists. Have you ever seen one? And if so, does it last for more than 10 minutes? I know. Loving this kitchen because this kitchen has a butler's pantry kind of, like it's an open butler's pantry, but it's concealed behind that half wall. Now, this is something I've seen in a lot of new homes in Australia where they do advertise that they have a butler's pantry. A butler's pantry, for those of you guys who don't know, it's just like another part of the kitchen that's kind of tucked away into a separate room. So often it will be just behind the kitchen. It's where you would have all of your appliances, your toaster, the things that create a lot of mess that you don't really wanna show people. Um, a butler's pantry would be an absolute dream, but it doesn't mean that you literally have a butler working for you cooking in the butler's pantry. It's, I mean, that's probably maybe what it 
once meant, but these days it's just like a tucked away part of the kitchen that's not on show, it's kind of concealed. And yeah, I really love the idea of it being open, but the, the bench kind of goes into it. And then you have all of the other stuff behind the scenes. That would be a big dream of mine to have one of those. Such a luxury if you have one. I do know someone with a butler's pantry. Oh, it's so nice. They have so much storage. Their kitchen always looks so clean because all the mess is behind the scenes. What, what a dream. If you have a butler's pantry, so jealous of you right now. <laughs> Love these shelves. These are from the Octave collection. Very nice. I thought they were absolutely perfect to have behind the dining table. The lights are from Octave as well. These curved mirrors, they are from the Delicato lounge pack that little Dicker and I made. It's based off a mirror that I actually have in real life at my house. And I do like these arched mirrors. I absolutely love the gold swatch that little Dicker created. And it ties in so well in this apartment because the apartment's quite glamorous and gold just instantly communicates glamour. Uh, I love it so much. It looks really good. And this shelf, I was like, holy moly, I don't know what to put on this shelf. Like I have so many custom content clutter items to put on there, but when I'm restricting which CC packs I'm using, there actually wasn't that much to put on there. So I've put some records that came with the Octave pack up there and just some random other Sim stuff. The vases are from the Delicato lounge pack as well. Um, but you know what? I ended up just leaving some of the shelves blank and I think that's okay. I've seen, you know, in magazines, they often have very limited things on the shelves and I think it works. We've got a leaning painting on the fireplace that looks pretty cool. I was trying to find an accent chair to put in the corner by Maxis, like not CC, and I just couldn't do it. I spent so long just looking like you'll just see me just yeah, stopping. I'm literally not doing anything right now because it took me a while. I was like, oh, uh, what should I put there? In the end, I just go for the Octave lounge chair and I don't know why it took me so long to get to that point. But yeah, in the end, it looks, it just fits in. It fits in with the rest. And of course it would because that's a pack that we're using throughout the whole apartment. So when in doubt, always just go to the same pack you've been using and I'm sure you'll, you'll find something that works. Ah, nice chair. Again, I wish I could have cream chairs in real life and I wouldn't ruin them, but you know, what's a girl gotta do if she's gonna mess everything up? She wears black and that's that's what I do. And olive green. <laughs> we will be having a sage bedroom in this apartment. You guys will be very pleased because a sage bedroom has become a classic on this channel. I'm not sure if there's many houses we build without a sage bedroom at this point. It's just the go-to color. I wonder if sage will become really dated. I feel like sage wasn't popular in the early noughties and that's kind of a, maybe in the last, maybe in the last 10 years, 2010 ongoing maybe. Yeah, I feel like sage was not a nice color back then. It almost seemed clinical back then, but now it's like really nice and natural. It's amazing how trends change. Also loving this little bar area. We've got the Desert Lux bar right there. Very fancy. I never really put bars in my houses. I think it's because I probably would never have a bar in my own home. I don't really drink much alcohol. I'll have a whiskey. I do like a whiskey on the rocks now and then. If I'm going to have a cocktail, which I don't do very often, I will actually go for a vodka martini with some olives. I am a martini girl terrifying the idea of deli having a vodka martini but that i like them i really i like the hard stuff i'm not a sugary sweet kind of girl cosmos whatever fruit tingles all of that no i just go for like the james bond thing <laughs> I'm the only person I know who does that out of my friendship group. So that's interesting. Do you like a mojito? Do you like a mojito? Love a tequila. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking about alcohol because just because of the bar. Basically, I just would never have a bar in my own house because it's more of a special occasion thing for me having a drink. So yeah, I guess I just never really put them in my Sims homes. And also I kind of feel like maybe the bars would look good built into the walls in The Sims a little bit more, but you have to, your Sims have to get to both sides of the bar, which I know is a bit, very much a thing in real life, but I'm kind of used to seeing people having them built in maybe a more 
modern bar, contemporary bar, where you just kind of help yourself, not so much the formal someone behind it serving you. An at-home bar, because you wouldn't usually have staff in your home serving you drinks, you know? So maybe I'll use it more in that sense. Uh, but yeah, I always find it a bit awkward placing them. So I think that's why I don't use them that much. This bedroom's really nice. This is our blue bedroom. So that's quite pretty. And of course I had to put in those city living big battens. Is there a build that we do without those battens? I'm not sure I really need something new to use because I've, I've used them. I use them all the time. Oh dear. And then the main bedroom I'm going to reveal to you shortly. We're going to do a walkthrough, so you guys will see that too. It's kind of nice having a surprise of a few rooms that you don't see until the very end. Uh, I love the idea of this bathroom having that rich, spicy brown that then contrasts against the cream. I think that looks really cool. And with the gold, it's kind of a lighter gold or a more rustic gold accent too. Very nice, very classy well i don't know what i'm doing here but yeah classy is that classy i what what is that it's like holding a teacup teacup <laughs> and yeah this is pretty much what that bathroom is turning out like love the deep rose pink or dusty pink curtains i think that looks really beautiful with the the warm browns and then the cool whites just looks quite harmonious to me so really pleased with that how that turned out and again it's not the easiest floor plan to be working with when it comes to the bathrooms it's a very elongated bathroom so the shower might look a little bit funny to you the placement of that but hopefully you guys kind of see the vision and you guys like it as well so I'm very much looking forward to doing a walkthrough with you guys oh love this bathroom clutter as well now that we have these really nice colors there the browns and the golds love that anyway Let's have a final look at what it turned out to look like. All right, you guys, welcome home. Imagine coming home to this. So it's quite a minimal like entrance in a way, but then you've got this really, 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 really nice lounge room. Oh my gosh, imagine this. Also these beautiful books are from the Delicato pack too. Just gotta give myself and Little Dicker a shout out. Um, but yeah, love this, love this room. I do like this little wood holder or timber holder. I think that was from Werewolves, actually. That was nice. Paintings looking very gorgeous. Uh, which way should we go? Maybe we'll just check out these bedrooms quickly. So in here's a little powder room. Oh, we ended up going with the gray and the black, which is kind of cool. Y'all know me. I don't actually do a lot of dark colors in real life in interiors, but in The Sims, I've been getting into it. Then we have this room. I didn't show this room in the footage, uh, but this is just like a mustard and gray room. I thought that looked kind of cool, the mustard and gray with the dark uh, boards on it. Love this gold frame as well. And then in here is the first bathroom. Very nice. This was kind of hard because the taps, I couldn't put them on a wall and make the floor plan make sense, but I'm really stoked because there's actually a piping that goes down. So it looks like it's kind of legit. Uh, so a nice little shower area. I love the brown and the cream. Then the other room next to this one. So this is at one end of the house. This is our purple and sage room because we've got to have a sage room, don't we? So this is quite cute. Very nice. Are you guys proud of me for using some dark colors? You know, I guess this room isn't that dark, but I thought you'd be proud. This is probably my favorite bathroom. I just feel like the floor plan in here makes the most sense. And then, whoa, that is terrifying because I feel like you'll fall down. There is a shower behind there, but I'm too scared to go back. So back to the lounge room just to refresh your memories. And then we come through here and this works out beautifully. This is our stunning dining room. Talk about classy. Wow, imagine having a dinner party here. Love the apples from the delicious kitchen pack. Very nice. And then this is our kitchen with the butler's pantry to the left behind that wall and bar area. Thought this was really nice. I love the wallpaper having the gold and the cream. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. This is all the delicious kitchen. This is the butler's pantry with the toaster and everything. And then this is the amazing massive fridge that we made a uh, little dicker and I, well, little dicker really made it because I can't do that stuff, but really, really cool. In here is the laundry. 
Very nice, there is a sink on the other side, so that's a little bonus room there. Could maybe even fit a cupcake machine in there if that's your vibe. Okay, so we'll go into this room uh, before we look at the main bedroom. So this is the blue room. You guys saw a bit of this, it's nice. Love that, love the browns. I'm really into the browns in this. I love those rich reddish browns. And then this is the little bathroom in here. Oh, did I forget a shower? Oh, oh wait, they just have a bathtub. Okay, that's okay. I guess I couldn't fit that in. Here is the master bedroom. Look at that glorious green wall back there. I think this turned out really cool. Um, I just love it. I love how there's a chair on the angle. There's the beautiful fireplace. There's the white couch I could never sit on. And if you go around the corner here, we have another green feature wall and this amazing walk-in wardrobe, love that. Plenty of space, beautiful mirror. And then just through here's the bathroom. So this floor plan worked out really well. And this is the gorgeous bathroom. I think this looks so good. You guys saw this. Uh, the progress of it. But yeah, beautiful. So if you guys would like to copy the floor plan, um, so if anyone playing can't download it from the gallery or if you're on console and want to just kind of recreate the same floor plan, this is what it is like. Let me just zoom out more because my head's there. Feel free to take a picture of it and just recreate it or take inspo from it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this build. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And a big thank you to my members. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and um, all the extra love. If you guys would like to become a member, you can join below. There's an option to join and there'll be a link in the description down below as well. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to y'all soon. Tak tak. Thank you.